image. Um, we're joined, as we said, by Kevin, Rob and Lindsay. Hello to you. Thank you so much for coming in. I mean, just looking at those images there, particularly, I think, that last image, which went viral, it struck a chord with so many people. Talk us through it, how that moment came about, Kevin. Um, I, I think it's just a really special moment for both of us. Um, we've done a lot of things together over the last four years that have built on the careers we had playing together. So um, there's a friendship there that has got stronger since Rob diagnosis. And um, to be able to show that and to have 12,000 people alongside us, along with Lindsay running the marathon, <laughs> was a really special day. And um, this has all been about friendship and trying to help a mate, and hopefully that's come across. Mm. It certainly has come across, yeah. And that friendship is now the focus of a, of a book that you've written together. And I know that Rob has some things that he wants to say to us about that this morning, Lindsay, and you've programmed some of his comments into his eye gaze machine. And we were wondering what, what it means to him to be able to put all of that friendship into a book. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to do this book with Kevin to highlight the importance of friendship and show that there are many ways to be strong. And I'm hoping the book will appeal to young boys in particular to show that friendships can be based on love and vulnerability. True friends like Kevin are always with their friends, even when times are tough. I used to love reading stories to my three young children, and I hope that this book will give them an insight into what true friendship is. Yeah. And Lindsay, you've witnessed this friendship over many years and seen really up close what it's meant to both of them. Yeah, I think it's just incredible. I think what Kev's done, what he's put his body through, not just physically, but mentally as well, you know, time away from his family to, to do this, but not just for Rob, but the whole MND community is, is just incredible. Um, and I know Rob really values the friendship, and I think the book is really about celebrating friendship and, and showing that friends are there even in, in the darkest and toughest of times. There are lots of lovely quotes yeah. in here, aren't there, and, and, and sayings. Um, I wonder, does Rob have a favourite one for, from all of those quotes that are inside? It does, yeah. I'll just, um, this is technology for you, isn't it? <laughs> That's great. It's amazing that we can hear him in this way, I think. What are you doing? We should explain that uh, Rob's able to use his eyes to spell out things that he wants to say and pre-programme on this device. And Lindsay's ready now, so this is Rob on I'm his phone. I'm so face. glad that the book has so many meaningful messages centred around friendship. I've been really impressed with the content and I'd like to thank the five award-winning illustrators that have brought this book to life with their beautiful illustrations. True friends are always there even when times are tough is my favourite quote in the book because that is something that needs to be appreciated and valued. Uh, Kevin, wonder, same question to you really, is there a, is there a favourite quote of yours and how much is this about friendship between um, between men or boys um, and, and you know how important was that because you know we don't often see men expressing their relationship so you know the hugs the closeness um, and I think that's what's really struck a chord with lots of people is that something you were very aware of yeah I think that's why we wanted to do it and my favorite is actually the cover I really mm. like with you every step because this has been completely two-way Rob will never understand the help and inspiration he's given me and I think for us to be able to do it, we, we think the book is for everybody. We don't just think it's for young boys. I think the fact we've both got children yeah. who are boys, I know Rob's got two girls as well, but um, growing up, we've, we've enjoyed reading stories to our kids and I think hopefully this can be an extension of that. And we'll, we want people to see what friends should do for each other and what they can do for each other. And it's not about running all the marathons, it's just about being there and, and sharing in some special moments. And Rob, tell us about that friendship from, from your point of view. Kev was my captain and he still is my captain. He always will be. We've played together for years. We sat next to each other in the dressing room. We went through the highs and lows of rugby league. The highs were amazing, but he always looked after us. And here he's now still looking after us all. He doesn't like Foss and he won't like me saying it, but he puts his body on the line every time he steps up to start a challenge. He could give James Bond a run for his money. <laughs> and he always has a cheeky message for me when I see him. You will see him say a few words in my ear, and those words are normally funny or not repeatable. <laughs> James Bond, eh? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> uh, and Lindsay, for you, what's this been like watching the two of them? 
Yeah, just incredible, incredible friendship. I think they, you know, just wrote brilliant role models to all of us and, and kept showing what it's like to be a true friend to, to Rob. You know, he's been there from day one since his diagnosis. He's, you know, put his body through crazy challenges to raise awareness and to raise funds for MND. And I think collectively now they've raised over 13 million for local and national MND charities, Amazing. which is just phenomenal and will make a real difference to the MND community. So you did three <laughs> massive crazy challenges and we always wondered whether there might be a fourth what do you got to tell us Kev? <laughs> <laughs> yeah we go again um, here we go again we start three weeks on friday um marathons again running running's been a great vehicle for us it's to... not just running <laughs> it's not yeah. just marathons <laughs> yeah it's, it's been a, it's been a great way of um celebrating the mnd community celebrating rob and showing people that we care and the support we've had has been amazing, been amazing from you guys, from sponsors who've supported people who've lined the streets. But yeah, we go again and we're gonna go, the plan is to run seven marathons plus a mile, an extra mile each day. So ultra marathons. An ultra marathon uh, in seven different cities across the UK and Ireland over seven days. Seven again, that, that number that seven. means so seven. much to, to Rob. Seven. Number to seven, seven, yeah. Should we, uh, should we take a look through and just uh, get, let people know exactly um, where you're going to go? So you're going to start in Leeds, then travel to Cardiff before moving on to Birmingham, Edinburgh, Dublin, Brighton and finishing in London. And just tell us there are, there's significance in the places that you've chosen. Yeah, well, we, we were aware we'd not been to the south and we felt it was really important to go to the south because there's a, a large number of... Uh, people have been diagnosed with MND down there. We wanted to go to Wales and we also wanted to go over to Ireland. And, um, you know, there's 550 people currently diagnosed with MND in Ireland and we want to share and support and raise some funds and awareness out there too. So we're really looking forward to it. Um, there are a hundred reasons why we shouldn't go again, <laughs> but the 5,000 reasons why we should. And one of them is the big reason is sat right there. Like, for, to make a dent into MND and to shift the dial on it, it, we need money. And the awareness has been brilliant over the last four years, and that all started with the great Doddy Weir. Um, but it's the funds that are going to make such a difference, whether that's to find the cure or to help support families and provide equipment like Rob's got with the eye gaze, so mm. people can still communicate and be, be in the room. It's phenomenal what you're about to do, and we'll no doubt cover it. But what, what do you think of this, Rob? Another challenge. <laughs> Another crazy challenge, pal. <laughs> we thought you would stop after the last one, but here you go again. You know, I would do the same for you. I hope to see you off at the start and be there when you finish. You never stop banging the drum for the MND community. Remember, Kev, you aren't getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, he's got a very he's good point. point. Yeah. I mean, what you're about to do to your body uh, again is really punishing. Yeah, I, th I think when you see, and we've met a lot of friends now um, who are in the MND community, and, I, and I've said it numerous times, but it is a beautiful community, and it, MND affects the best people. And to be able to represent them with our team and go out and, and hopefully raise some money and some awareness again and keep banging the drum because we've got to find a cure. It's worth that pain. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And it's worth pointing out, isn't it, that people can potentially come along and, and get involved. So how do they how do they do that? Yeah, so people have done that over the the last three. They've they've come out and lined the routes for us. They've come and seen us at various locations. Uh, but this year there is an extra mile going to be added in, and and um, we're working with the local authorities as we speak to try and open that up to as many people as we can. We'd love to get schools involved to run a mile during that week. Uh, not necessarily to raise money, but to raise awareness of MND so that kids understand yeah. um, about this disease. And I think that understanding, it really makes a difference to people who've been diagnosed. Yeah, I, I, perhaps I can ask Rob that, that very same question that, that you've always said that sort of using your voice uh, to help others and other families living with MND. When you look at all the things you've achieved um, over the last three or four years, you know, how do you feel about that? Since I was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, I wanted to help other families like mine by showing what it is like living with the disease. Donny taught me to live each day to its fullest and to never give in. I hope sharing my story has given others living with MND hope. Well, I think it 
I mean, that goes without question, doesn't it? Absolutely, given so much people hope. And when you've done the, 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 the challenge you've done so far, it's been lovely watching you've stopped and people have come out and you've spoken to people with MND actually on the side there. And how much, how much does that mean to you to get that direct feedback from them? Yeah, well, it fuels us. You know, when you think the distance we're running um, absolutely lets us know why we're there and what we're doing is, is the right thing. And we met people along the route who haven't been out of the house for two years mm. and people came out on breathing apparatus. And to have people share in that moment, if you up until sort of four or five years ago when Doddy started the campaign and you know the families across the UK and the world have been ravaged and almost swept under the carpet. And we want to highlight that these are incredible people and some we've lost along the way and we need to celebrate their lives too and, and look after people properly comes back to friendship again. This course, we talked absolutely. about the book and friendship, and, and now you're showing that friendship again. Lindsay, what do you think of this? these challenges? Did you always suspect it was going to go again? <laughs> do you know, well, he'd always said um, Rocky Fall was his favourite, so he'd done three, <laughs> so this is the, you know, hopefully this is the final challenge now. I think Kev can, you know, he's done his bit, he's done more than, you know, we could not ever yet, imagine. Not he hasn't. No, well, not quite yet, but <laughs> That's yeah. That's his bit just... on the screen now, look at that. <laughs> just, just incredible, you know, I think what Kev's done, as I say, not just for Rob, but the whole MD community is, is really inspirational. And I think it's given the whole, you know, nation hope and, and inspired so many people to, you know, take part in exercises, to do their own challenges, which is just phenomenal. So, Kev, are you back in training? What, three weeks to go? Yeah, three weeks to go. I had a decent block of running last week. So I got back from France from the World Cup. Of course. I've uh, been back about 10 days. So first thing was to pick the running up. What a uh, decent block of running. Yeah, <laughs> don't need to share some of the dark. <laughs> uh, but a decent block last week, back in Saddleworth in the rain and the dark and uh, to get myself ready. So it's, it's about getting the balance right now between doing enough and not going in too cooked. So. Could you not do these things in summer? Yeah. Um, the thing we have found this time of the year works really well. If you think start of December, Christmas lights are going on, there's a real good feel about it. Okay. Plus, it's dark, it's gloomy, it's wet, it's miserable, and I don't know whether it's that Christmas period, but people tend to be a little bit more generous. And if you, if you understand what we're trying to achieve here, which is to raise as much money as possible to make a difference, then it's, it's been a good... A good window for us. Oh, it's phenomenal. And proceeds from the book as well, we should have said, are also going to charity to earn charities, so yeah. Yeah, it's it's something we're, we're both passionate about and, um, you know, we're trying to get this centre built in Leeds, in Rob's name, um, as soon as possible. So uh, proceeds from the book will go towards that and uh, we're representing five different charities this time when we run, so we'll keep banging the drum. You keep banging. It's great to have you all here. Thanks so much, all of you, for coming in. Rob, Lindsay, Kev, brilliant to see you. And we look forward to the 1st of December. It's not long, is it? It's not long. <laughs> Get a few more blocks of running. And... <laughs> Thank great you. Great to see you. Thank you. Uh, now, it is... Uh...